here. I'm a vintage home decor reseller and today I'm going to take you vintage shopping with me and then we're going to come back and do a little haul. So recently I decided to spend the whole day thrifting and shopping with two of my reselling buddies and I can't believe all the amazing things I got that day. We hit up an estate sale, some thrift stores, and one of our very favorite spots to source around town. So let's get shopping. So we're walking up and we're all strategizing on what we're gonna get. So I'm with my friends, <laughs> Emily and Taylor, which you guys have heard me talk about. So we're so excited and also don't really want to stand in the rain. So hopefully we get in really quickly. So a lot of my reseller friends are here and they're further ahead of us lying. So all the good stuff is gone already. So hopefully we get something. Next stop is a super thrift store. I think I've been here once, um, but yeah, so we'll see what we find. Taylor and Emily say they get lucky here, so hopefully today we do. These are very cute. I love the color. They're not cheap. They're 40 bucks each, but the color and the shape is really cute. So I would buy this tray, but I don't want the rest of it. And I think it might be a set, which would be a bummer. So you know me and Smalls, and these are so cute. They're five bucks though, which seems steep, but they're really adorable. Look at the paint flowers. I kind of dig this vase, like the colors is definitely, I would say like, it feels like 90s, um, but I'm not picking up pottery, so I'm gonna not get it, but it's really pretty. So I do like this bowl and I don't know if it's like food. The only thing is like, I'm assuming it's food safe. Oh, it has a huge chip. Oh, bummer. These bowls are very dirty, but they have a great patina to them. You guys, my friend Taylor's gonna be so mad because I just got something she's gonna want. So now we're going to my favorite store in Portland, Village Merchant. So um, we always have luck here, so I hope we do today. And I think it might be our friend Emily's first time. So I kind of like this. Just not like old, but I definitely like the, the blue tone, so I may get it. All right, tray 18. Well, it's in my range. It's a nice scallop. Oh, and then Taylor found something. Oh, cute birdie. Oh, that's kind of like what she saw in Spain a lot. This is a cool, didn't we just see this at the last one? Then I had the resin. Oh no, it was a different ashtray. This is really cool. Very, very mid-century, awesome. So I just spotted this cutie pie. So he's coming home. Just spotted this very large cloisonne vase. Never seen this colorway before, and I very rarely find this particular like large shape, so I'm definitely gonna get it. So yeah, what so, do you think? And the colors are good. Emily found this huge thing of grapes, which I know nothing about, but I know people lose their minds. Seems like a good price, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. I'm like, I kind of like this organizer. I don't know what I would use it for, but it's 24, but it's really good. So I grabbed this copper pedestal bowl because you guys know I sell a lot of brass ones. My friend Taylor said this could possibly come out so I may risk it. It's 12. It's just really really pretty and very solid. Okay so I'm back in my studio. It was an amazing day outsourcing. I got so many great things for my Etsy shop. I got some stuff for me because you guys know I'm always shopping for me. And yeah, I just can't wait to show you all the stuff that I got. Okay, so we're gonna start with the stuff that I got at that estate sale. Now, that estate sale has some amazing collectible mid-century pieces, but unfortunately, some of my reseller friends that specialize in more modern mid-century pieces, of course, were ahead of me in line, and therefore they got a lot of the, 
great stuff. And also, it was in a condo, so the house wasn't very big. Um, and so I'm amazed I even got anything. So I got two things. So the first thing I picked up was this very cool fish ashtray. Now I have shined this up, it was very dirty. And you know I love to shine up some brass. And I was so excited by this transformation because it's so shiny. But look at that cute fish face. On a surface style, like on a coffee table, and even if you're not a smoker, because most of us are not smokers, um, this is just a fun sculptural piece. And I just think it's just a unique, whimsical item to use anyway. So I know this is going to sell fast because I have never seen a fish ashtray like this, and this will be available on my Etsy shop. The other thing I picked up to try was this copper tray that has this really beautiful etching around the outside. Now, I have only sold one copper piece in my entire reselling history and it actually was something I got at a rum sale for a dollar and I think I sold it for like 68 or 78 bucks. I just know I got a really good like flip on it and it's because it was really old and well done. So I'm going to see how this does. You know I sell a lot of brass trays. They always do well for me. So I'm thinking that maybe copper could be a good thing to try. So we'll see how this goes. I haven't decided if I'm going to clean it up. I've never cleaned the copper really before, which I'm not sure if it's the same as brass, so I got to look that up. But I mean, the tarnish on this is, or the patina, I think is actually pretty good. And I imagine people kind of like that in like a copper piece, because I think a shined up copper piece may be Maybe a little too much, I don't know. So anyways, I had to do a little more research, but this will be available in my Etsy shop. So the next thing I got is actually quite large and made my friend Taylor jealous. Well, at least I think it made her jealous. I don't know. She sells, she picks these up and sells these all day long. I never find them, she always found, finds them. I found this one first on one of those carts at the thrift store when they're putting out new merchandise and it was only $4.99. These types of card catalogs are so hard to find anymore because they just, you know, they're just not in use anymore. They're officially retired from libraries. And so um, people are collecting them and hoarding them. And so this one is very, it's a very good shape. It is a globe style card catalog from Cincinnati. I mean, look at the dove. Whoa, I almost lost the drawer. <laughs> look at the dovetail corners. It's just a really beautiful, solid piece. I found another one of these. Actually, I've only ever found three in my life. It happened to be within basically the last like 12 months. I got another one of these when I went to a really big estate sale and, and that sold really well for me. I think I got 128 bucks for it. So I think for this one, I'll probably list it for the same. So yeah, $4.99 to $128 bucks is amazing. Now it is heavy to ship, but because it's so square, it's easy to pack. And so that's why I don't usually mind um, if it's a little bit more to ship because I know that packing this up is going to be a breeze. So this is going to be available in my Etsy shop. So now we're going to move on to some of the vintage shops around town. So we went to Village Merchants, which is my very favorite thrifting vintage consignment store in the entire Portland metro area. So if you're coming to Portland and you want to go somewhere amazing to shop for vintage, definitely hit, hit up Village Merchants. It's my favorite. So the first thing that I got there was, this is for me, a very cool abstract painting on board. There's actually a face, if you can see it, which I didn't see it originally. I love very colorful art. So the rest of my like studio space is very like feminine, girly, skews a little like old world with some like mid-century mixed in. It's very eclectic. But the rest of my home is very much like that 70s wood paneling vibe. And so the artwork that I have is really modern for the rest of my home. And so these types of colorful pieces my husband literally loves and I, I like it too. So um, I'm very excited to get this on the wall. And it was only eight bucks, which I thought was a really good deal. So another thing I grabbed was this very large cloisonne vase. I have not seen this colorway before, so that's why I picked it up. It's also really big. It was only 16 bucks, which is great because cloisonne vases um, and cloisonne pieces um, are always, they sell really well and always sell for me. If you saw my recent video where I talk about all the things that sell well for me in my Etsy shop, that was one of the things that was included in that video. So this piece I know is probably going to do well. It's in great shape. It's not dented. That's one of the things that happens with these, like someone like drops it and then they donate it to the thrift store. But I thought this piece was really beautiful and I can't wait to get it listed in my Etsy shop. Now the next piece I basically flew across an aisle to grab before anyone else got it, especially before my reselling friends got it because we all pick up brass, uh, was this adorable bird statue. It was only $10, which was awesome because 
Picking up any brass these days is really hard. Last time I got a little brass statue like this, I did a reel on it and um, it sold immediately. So I probably, I may actually even recreate that video in that styling with this bird and see how it does. It'd be a really good test to see, um, you know, how it would do now that it's been a few months since I've sold the other one. But I had to pick it up because it's just so sweet. I think the patina on it is really good. I don't actually think I'm gonna shine it up, which I know, surprise, surprise. So yeah, I can't wait to get this list. So the next piece I'm gonna show you is probably my favorite thing that I picked up. And it is this beautiful floral painting. You know I love a floral. I go crazy, I pick up so many of these pieces. This one is painted on board. What I love about it is there's just so much writing and history and just, I love when I can find pieces where there's a little bit more about the artist on the piece rather than just the signature. But this is a really well done picture of pansies. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. Uh, because there are so many floras I have sold uh, over the past few years that I deeply regret. So I'm just like, ooh, is this going to be one of those pieces? But I know someone's going to want this because it's just so special. And I like the fact that the edging around here is a little bit more moody. So this part, you know, stands out. I got it for six bucks, which is crazy. I was like flipping through one of those like random art bins that you see at the um at this particular store and and this was in there so i just i had to grab it because it was stunning i showed my friends who were with me shopping and uh, my friend emily was like oh, you have to get that and i was just like i feel the same way i feel the same way so of course it came home with me um so yeah i haven't decided what i'm gonna do i also kind of want to see it with a frame around it to see how that would look because it could be epic. So anyways, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this piece. If you're interested in it, always pop you know, in the comments and then I can um, let you know when it's available if I don't list it by the time this video is up. So another copper piece that I am going to test is this beautiful copper pedestal bowl. Now you guys know I sell brass pedestal bowls all day long. They're, they're my best seller. Um, I've never sold a copper one or frankly found a copper one, but this one was really too good to pass up. It was 12 bucks. And I just thought like this, this shape in brass I've sold many times. So I was like, you know what? I think someone out there might want this copper piece. It had a ton of like, is it called oxidization? Ox I can't even say it. Oxidization. Oxidiz Forget it. You know what, I'm, what I mean? The white stuff, the tarnish. Um, it had a ton of that on it. I started to clean it and I think I got a lot of it out, but I'm still kind of left with more. So I ran out of like my cleaner and so I got to start again, but I haven't decided if I should shine up around the bottom. So I need, let me know, especially if you guys really are into copper over like brass and copper pieces of the stuff that you pick. Let me know, do you like this level of like patina and tarnish or do you like it when it's a little bit more shined up? I really am interested because this is new territory for me, but I just, I'm hoping that because the, the brass trays and the brass pedestal bowls sell so well, maybe the copper one equivalents will sell as well. So last piece I got at my very favorite vintage shop is this amazing needle point pillow. I fell in love with these beautiful colors. I mean, look at these colors. The blues are just stunning and the greens. I thought it was great. It kind of even goes in my studio space because it has like this, like, you know, pinks and mauves, which obviously are everywhere in this room, but I just thought it was stunning. I love the fact that, you know, it's more like a lumbar pillow. It has a really pretty pattern on the back. It was 18 bucks, which I thought was, you know, a pretty good deal for this type of piece. It has a few like spots in it. They have a little bit of like missing string. And I think there was like one, oh yeah, a couple more down here. But frankly, I just think that that kind of adds to the fact that it's just like an older vintage piece. And it's in really good shape. It doesn't smell, which is a miracle because I have a hard time picking up textiles and things if they have an odor. Ugh. Like even fragrance is hard for me. Um, so as someone who basically thrifts everything in their home, Fragrance and odor is very tricky for me as someone who hates all smells, but this piece I thought was just too stunning to pick up and the fact that it didn't smell was amazing. So this is the type of thing I was thinking about holding back to maybe have in a booth um, that I wanna do coming up because it's just like one of those wow factor pieces that for staging and styling in a booth setting, you know, it's a, you get a lot of mileage out of it. So I don't know, but if this is something that you want, 
you know, let me know in case I haven't listed it and I can always pop it up for you. So that's the, that's the hard part. Anytime I like think of stuff for like a booth, I also then want to sell it immediately to anyone who's interested, which is not bad business sense, but also puts me in a bind when I do a booth and need to source a bunch of stuff. But anyways, I had to pick this up because I thought it was too special. The final stop was at a store called Artifact. It's a very curated store. It has a lot of clothing, great secondhand clothing and vintage clothing. And then it also has beautiful curated vignettes of vintage. And the prices are really fair. And so anytime I go in there, I always find something. And so the first thing I spotted was this brass pedestal bowl, which of course I just told you sells really well for me. And look at the etchings and pattern in this. It is absolutely stunning. And the patina on it is already fine. I don't need to shine this up. It is perfect. I paid 18 bucks for it, which is great because I'll probably list it for like 68, 78 bucks, um, especially because it's just really big. It's in great shape and that pattern in the center is just really special. So when I saw this, I had to grab it. And the final two things that I got in this shop are actually, well, at least one of them is for sure for me. And that is my cute little fish necklace. I don't know if, oh, it's hard to see. There we go. It actually articulates, which is so funny. It's on this really delicate chain. I actually had a very pretty fish necklace in my Pinterest board that I wanted for my birthday. But the problem is it was like a few hundred dollars. I'm like, just, do I really need a fish necklace for that's a few hundred dollars for my birthday? That seemed like extravagant to me. <laughs> so I was like, maybe one day I'll find a fish necklace. And I did. So I cannot believe like literally what I had on my Pinterest board was in the shop. I think it was, I want to say like 22, 18 or 22 bucks. It was very reasonable. So that's why I got it. And I absolutely adore it. And um, yeah, it just adds to my delicate um, necklace collection. And the final piece I picked up, and this was just like, as I was waiting for them to ring up my stuff because they were having trouble with the register, I just felt like, oh, don't worry about it. I'll look around. And of course, you know, you look around and you see something else you want. So this um, leather bag I thought was awesome. And I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this for myself or if I'm going to list it because I typically don't list stuff like this in my Etsy shop. Now, this might be something I could bring to a market and would sell, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's vintage. I, when I was looking it up, it was some, of, I, th I feel like like free people had a version of this. And then there's also tons of ver like actual vintage versions. And then there's designer versions. So I had a really hard time like gauging like what the actual like value of it was. I think I paid like 30 some bucks for it, but I, you know, for a leather purse like this, I mean, it's just like awesome, like so cool, especially like it's roomy enough to be a um, market bag, which I thought was awesome. Um, and so that's why I grabbed it. So I, I'm probably going to keep it. I don't know. Ooh, it's so hard. So at least I'm probably going to keep it for a while and then maybe I'll let it go. That's one thing nice about being a vintage reseller. You can kind of like try things out, see how you do with it. And then eventually you can go, you know, sell it down the road. Okay, so that's all I have to show you. Those are all my finds from this very epic day out shopping with my friends. So let me know in the comments below what item was your favorite. And if you're looking for more thrifting and decorating content between my haul videos here on YouTube, make sure you check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next thrifting and decorating video. Take care.